hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl daisy budgets and over here on my channel i do savings challenges sinking funds updates cash stuffings a little bit of everything all while taking you along on my journey as i take steps to becoming debt free in 2022 so if any of that sounds like something you might be interested in make sure to like comment and subscribe and smash that notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video so today's video is going to be my weekly cash stuffing i am going to be cash stuffing paycheck number three of february so so let me just grab my cash box and we'll jump right into it. Okay, you guys. So today we are going to be cash stuffing $1,319. Out of that, $235 is going to go into my cash envelopes. $396 is going to go into my sinking funds. And $688 is going to go into savings challenges. Again, for a total of $1,319. So I'm just going to put that to the side. So let's start off with a quick money count so we can ensure that we have the correct amount. Let me split this up because this is a little thickums. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, and 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So we have 1,319, which is correct. Now I'm going to set my money up really quickly. Okay, so today I'm actually wearing my Harry Potter pajamas. I decided that, you know what, today is a no people clothes kind of day for me and I'm just going to spend the day in pajamas. Sometimes I just need those kind of days. And to match, I have my little Ravenclaw tumbler. I actually got this from, I want to say Marshalls. I think Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. It came in like a set of four um so yeah so today i'm team ravenclaw okay so first things first we are going to break out our wallet so i am back into my lv monogram wallets i just kind of missed her and i wanted to be back in there and then i have my change pouch because i prefer to keep my change separate because it makes the wallet very bulky okay so i'm going to be starting off with my coins if you guys are new, this coin jar is from Katie Budgets. I always have her listed down below in my description in all of my videos. So we got a bunch of change. And you guys, my husband is the bomb because he always leaves me his change. <laughs> I rarely have like a lot of change myself. I accumulate all this change through him. Okay, so I did make myself some new envelopes. I have really been loving the LV lip drip print. So I decided to make myself some envelopes. Um, I made them peekable style and the back isn't see-through because I find that like when I break out my envelopes, um, it tends to draw attention. And like if you're out alone and you're a female and stuff and they see you breaking out envelopes and they can see through the back that it's you can see money through it. I mean, it just raises like it just makes me uncomfortable because especially if I'm out by myself, you know, and I have people like looking like you, you hear a lot of stories out there and I don't want to draw unnecessary attention. So I feel like I can still see my money, but it's more discreet. Like I can see it 
more so than the people surrounding me can see it, if that makes sense. So I decided to make them peekable. Again, you guys, if you are new, I do have an Insta shop. So if you're interested, uh, my Instagram is linked down in my description. You can check out the highlight that says Insta shop, and you can just shoot me a DM if you're interested in placing an order. Um, however, I will say that if you decide that you want to order these envelopes, you do have to let me know whether or not you want them to be peekable or not. Because if you don't indicate that you want them to be peekable, if you just say, hey, I want to order six of your LV lip drip envelopes, I'm going to give you the standard one, which is fully covered, but it won't be see-through on the back. Like those kind of things you have to let me know. So if you want them to be clear in the back, you have to indicate that you want them clear in the back or else I'm going to give you the standard version of whatever envelope. The only time that you will receive peekable envelopes is if my original design was a peekable envelope and my original design for this was not. If that makes sense. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. But if you have any questions, you can always send me a DM on my Instagram. Okay, so that was very long. <laughs> but you know what it is, you guys, is that I have a lot of new subscribers and I get new subscribers every day and I get a lot of questions on, do you make your own envelopes? Do you sell them? How can I buy them? So I just want to like every once in a while jump on here and let you guys know that yes, I do sell them. Yes, I do make my own envelopes and how about and how you can go about ordering them. Okay, now that we wasted 45 minutes on that, um, spending has nothing, gas has nothing, takeout has nothing, household does have something, but we'll get to that later. Give nothing, miscellaneous nothing, and challenge. Challenge has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So $13 that I'm going to put to the side because that's going to go towards my $5 and $1 savings challenge. Okay, so starting off with spending, first things first, I'm going to give my husband $50 for his spending for the week. So two 20s and a 10. I'm going to put that to the side for him. I am going to give myself $50 for the week as well. Gas is also going to be getting $50. Takeout is also going to be getting $50. You guys, and I've been struggling with takeout as to whether or not to raise the amount. Um, only because we always go over on our takeout amount and I end up taking the funds from my personal spending. And, um, yeah, so I don't know if I should just like up it or really try to stick to the budget. I just feel like during the weekend, we are much more busy. We're running around, running errands, pre prepping for the week ahead. And, um, yeah, so sometimes I just am tired and I don't want to cook. So household does have money in it. And today we are giving household its usual $20. So now we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Did I count that right? I felt like that was so off. That had no flow to it whatsoever. Let's try that again. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Okay, I was right. That felt super weird to me. So yeah, you guys, I don't know what to do as far as like the takeout goes, if I should just up the amount or if I should really try to like, I don't know, or maybe even up my grocery budget a little bit so that way I can buy more like freezer meals or stuff like that for the weekend so I'm not ordering takeout. I don't know. I'm so confused. I really want to try to stick to the 50 bucks though. So I think I'm going to see what I can do to try to stick to that budget. And I'll keep you guys updated on how that works out. Okay, so give is going to get $5. One, two, three, four, five. Let me know if anybody else struggles with their like eating out category. Do you guys stay within budget? Do you guys often go over budget? Like I feel like that's the hardest category for me to stick to. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is going to get its usual 10. Okay, and that is it. 
so all of our envelopes are fully stacked put that back in my wallet Put that to the side okay you guys so i did change out some of my binders this one is still the same this is my brown binder i get all my binders from the bin rad shop all my lv binders from the bin rad shop so i will definitely have them linked down in the description because i get a lot of questions about um, my binders as well so first things first is car maintenance car maintenance is going to be receiving 25 dollars today so a 20 and a 5. So now car maintenance has 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 25. So 425 in car maintenance. Okay, family fund today is going to be receiving its usual 20. You guys, I can't wait for the warmer weather. I am dying to go do some camping or something. 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20. So $220 in family funds. So I'm hoping to build this up because in April starts camping season. That way we can, you know, get away and do something different for a couple of days. Um, Christmas, Christmas is going to be getting its usual 30 so a 20 and a 10. So now Christmas has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 210. Miscellaneous is getting $20 today. So now Miscellaneous has 20, 40, 50, and $60. Okay, so emergency is going to be getting $50 today. You guys know we are trying to build this back up. Um, so it's going to be getting two 20s. One, two, and a 10. So now emergency has 1,000. 500 and these are placeholders just in case if you're new this represents money that we have in the bank just so that i'm not um carrying so much in my envelope so that's 1500 16 17 20 40 60 80 18 20 40 60 80 19 so 1900 in emergency we are trying to build it back up to three thousand dollars Okay, so you guys, you guys already know that we finished paying off my Capital One bill. Um, it was over $3,000 or so. I can't remember the exact, the exact amount, but now we are on to the next. So we have three more in our lineup. So we are targeting right now this um, Capital One, which is my husband's Capital One bill. And for this one, we owe $4,134.52. So as you guys already know, I do savings challenges that go towards paying down this debt along with my husband's YouTube check. Yes, my husband does do YouTube and he does receive an income from that. So we put that wholly towards our current debt and also whatever we can spare from his check for that week, we also put towards debt. So there's a lot of streams of income that go towards paying debt, including all the profit that I make from selling my cash envelopes. So we got a lot of things going on here, honey, a lot of things. So today it's going to be getting $40. The money that I put in the envelopes, like I said, is not the only stream of income that we put in this. Mostly we put the majority of it into savings challenges, which go towards paying down this debt. Giveaways, giveaways is going to be getting $10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So we got $55 in giveaways. And this money, as you guys know, goes to you guys for future giveaways. Medical is going to be getting something today. It's going to be getting $10. 
So now medical has 20, 30, 5. And that is it for my brown binder. Moving on to my new binder. You guys have not seen this one yet. This is my latest one added to my collection, my black LV monogram. I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. And it's also from the Bin Rad Shop. Me, I am going to be giving myself $20 today, and I did spend quite a bit of money from this envelope just recently because I ordered a couple of bags from Baddies and Budgets, which I, which I am supposed to be receiving today, which I am super, super excited about. No regrets. Your girl has no regrets. So currently, I have $20, $40, and $2, so $42 in my envelope. Okay. Bubba is also going to get his 20. Bubba is my husband, if you are new. So now he has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 81. So $181 in Bubba's envelope. Okay, Bella, my daughter, she is going to be receiving her usual 20 as well. So now Bella has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 25. So she has $225. Jacob, my son, he is going to be getting 20 as well. So now he has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 321 dollars. Okay, my dog, Pumpkin Pie, she is going to be getting $10 today. So now she has 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So 120. G Baby is going to be getting $10 today. So now G Baby has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110 dollars. My parents are also going to be receiving 10 dollars today. So now they have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110 dollars. And that is it for my black binder. Moving on to my pink binder. So gifting today is going to be getting $20. So now gifting has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40. So 340 in gifting. Date night is also going to be receiving $10. So now date night has 20, 40, 60, and 70. Okay, beauty. Beauty is also going to be receiving $10. So now beauty has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Support a friend is going to be receiving $11 today. So now support a friend has 10, 20, 21, 22, and $23. Get your nails did is going to be receiving its usual 25. So 20 and a 5. And so now we have 20, 40, 45, and $50. Okay. Costco's is going to be receiving $5 today. So now Costco's has 20, 30, 40, 55. Which I have a Costco's trip tomorrow that I need to do. 
and that is it because these are my manifestation envelopes and i'm going to be stuffing these once i receive my first youtube check which should be in a couple of days so keep an eye out for that okay you guys so if you made it this far into the video i do want to thank you guys so much because we have made it to 3,000 subscribers you guys and i did promise a giveaway and i never break a promise and so and a matter of fact we're over 3,000. we're at like 3080 i believe uh since the last time i checked so let me grab the prizes real quick and i'll be right back okay so before i get into the prizes you guys i decided to um do my giveaway this way like leaving it towards the end of the video and not announcing it in my thumbnail or in any part of the video because i didn't want people just coming and subscribing for the prizes like I really want this prize to go to one of my ride or dies, the people that watch till the end, the people that sit through the ads, the people that comment, like, subscribe, support me, support my business, support my YouTube channel. You guys are the ones that I want to give back to. So we're going to get into the prizes. So first things first, the first prize is this cash box. You guys are going to be receiving a cash box. I keep saying you guys, it's one winner. One winner is going to be receiving everything that I show today. So one of you guys will be winning a cash box. Also, one of my cash breakdowns, along with five 1K placeholders. Let me put that in here to make room. Put this in here too. One of you guys will also be winning my Mrs. Moneybags $500 savings challenge. I'm also giving away five of my new favorite design, my LV lip print envelope. So five of these. And you guys, whoever is chosen as the winner, once I get in contact with you, you can just let me know what categories you want and I'll create the labels for those. And saving the best for last, you will also be winning the pink LV binder from the Bin Rad Shop. I absolutely am obsessed with this binder. You guys know, you see mine right there. Obsessed. So she decided to throw this in. She donated this to my giveaway, which I am so grateful for. And she also threw in a matching keychain. How freaking cute is that? So you're going to get, whoever wins is going to get the binder, the keychain, the five LV lip drip envelopes, which go really well with this binder, and the money bag savings challenge with the cash box, the five 1K placeholders, and the cash breakdown. So that is the giveaway. There are rules. There are levels to this. Okay, boo? So I'm going to get into the rules. I did write them down because I didn't want to forget anything. So number one, you must be 18 years of age or have parental consent to enter my giveaway. Number two, you must live in the U.S. This is a U.S. only giveaway, you guys. Step number three, you must go to the Bin Rad Shop on Instagram and give them a follow and let them know that I sent you on their most recent photo. Just tag me at Daisy Budgets. I'll have it on the screen and let them know that I sent you. Number four, you must be publicly subscribed to my channel. If you win and your subscriptions are private, I'm not going to be able to know whether or not you're really subscribed to me or not. So your subscriptions must be public. Number five, have your post notifications turned on and make sure you drop a comment down below. That's pretty much it, you guys. That's all it takes to enter the giveaway. Like Bin Rad, turn on your post notifications, be publicly subscribed, leave a comment under this video. And yeah, I will be announcing the winner in a community post on Sunday, the 27th. So you're definitely going to want to have your post notifications turned on. That way you'll be notified once I make that winner announcement. Okay, it's going to be in a community post. It's not going to be in a video. Okay, you guys, that is it. That is all. We are done here. So we're going to end this with a quick money count so that we see what is remaining and what is going to be going into my savings challenges. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 
20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 96, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. So we have $688 going to our savings challenges. That will be filmed in another video. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that notification bell so that you don't miss my next video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!